Morning guys, welcome to the vlog. Morning Stacey, welcome to the vlog. Shout. You've got to shout when you start a video. You've got to shout. It's 7 a.m. on a Sunday. Is that not shouting the clock? We're having, guys, typical Saturday, Sunday. Um, yeah, amazing, amazing. Mackey's bracket. If you veg you guys and you go to Mackey's, yeah, the only bracket they do really is uh, an egg and cheese bag. Uh, McMuffin, egg and cheese McMuffin, but if you have a sausage and egg bagel and have them take the sausage off, it is the best, most fieriest breakfast you could possibly have. And they're amazing. We lived so many years of our lives without eating a Mackey's bagel. Oh yeah, that's the sausage and egg one, so that's the, the full, the full whammy. It's so much better than a McMuffin. Anyway guys, we're just about to go to the boot sales. Um, I'm, do, I'm gonna do a boot sale video as well this week because I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it this week. So we're taking the GoPro, I'm gonna whack it on, gonna get embarrassed. We're gonna do a haul and everything after us. Dad's just phoned, he's at the boot sales already, he says they're both massive, so should be a good day for it too. Guys, 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 I'm a div. It's been so long that I've just got here to the boot sale, went to put my GoPro harness on, put it on like, but you can't attach the GoPro to it without this little case, and I left the bloody case at the flat, man. But the flat is on the way to the next one, next boot sale, so after we've done this boot sale, I might <laughs> pop in. No. Right. It depends how it's all going. Like, I might, just, <laughs> might just leave the boot out video till next week, or till Wednesday. Anyway, let's, we're gonna go have a walk around. If we do, if I don't do it, I'll do the haul in this video instead. So it'll be fun. You dying to go have a walking yes. around? All right, let's go. Back at the plate, you guys. The boot tail gods have been gracious to us this morning, haven't they? So we bought all this, all this, 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 these, and that, and the two boots. Quite a lot of money made, I think. Quite a lot of good stuff for ourselves, or for myself anyway. I got some stuff that I was very happy with. You didn't really get much for yourself, did you? Not really. Little bits, little bits. So we'll haul it, guys. So it is a shame that I couldn't take the camera today. So I have to make sure we do that next time. I also need to remember to get it out of the car because I've just left the GoPro in the car. I've got it. Did you lock the car? The GoPro. Did you lock the car, I said? Oh, yeah. Cool. <clears throat> okay, Daddy. cool. I'm gonna sit here with a glass of pop. Well, steam in here. Oh, yeah, wet windows. And we're gonna haul this, guys, so enjoy this haul. And there is gonna be a vlog after this as well. We're still gonna go out and do some stuff today, so it's gonna be another long one. I'm really glad that people have been really enjoying the long videos, you know? Mm, me too. And people have been telling us in the comments, so thank you very much for telling me, because I do appreciate it, because I do need to know. So, okay, let's go here. Yeah. Okay, I like this little position, you know, because it looks really nice with the uh, cupboard in the background. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, stuff on it. <laughs> well, not, not, not with this crap that needs to go but like this is cool this sorting yeah yeah we're, still, yeah we're getting there we're getting there okay you guys are here for a haul let's give you a haul don't know where to begin let's begin with yeah. i bought a stall <laughs> two pound i thought it could even be a good stall so mm -hmm. i can get into my cupboards yeah, but look, how, look how small it is that's not going to help you, yeah. you get like that's less than a foot that's all i need all I need is all plant sand. Or it can be a plant sand and then when I need to get in the cupboards. Is it going to hold your weight, yeah? Yeah. It's quite strong. I'm not happy. No. <laughs> Two pound. Nice. We've got a dish, dish uh, rack thing. Yeah, so we've been washing up lately and realising that actually we needed this rack and we saw some home bargains and to be honest I didn't know that they existed. So uh, <laughs> we didn't get it from there because... Why it was, it was too big and it was grey and I didn't want grey. But this is a perfect yeah. size because our dish drainer isn't that big, so we can put pots and pans the other side of this now. It's quite nice and thin, this, so you get all your yeah. plates, all your bowls, nice little cutlery bits, all right, that is. So, so we're not onto the reselling stuff yet, don't worry, guys, we do buy good stuff. If you're new to these videos, we don't just buy tat. No, we do, we buy a lot of tat, but we make money with it. I eat. So these are Yu Gi Oh cards, Yu Gi Oh GX. We're not massive on selling Yu Gi Oh cards, we've sold a few before for a bit of money. When we first started to like... Yeah, bought a big bundle from a charity shop, didn't we? The wrong way. Oh yeah, weird box. But this was only a quid, and it's it's all... So you see, it's all this, but these at the front, can you see the ones stood on their sides? They're not Yu-Gi-Oh cards, they're... Monsuno cards, I don't know if they're worth anything or not. But there's a few like, I'd, I had a quick flick through and saw some shiny ones in here, and for a quid, or like, whatever, this might go as a bundle. I don't know what for, so we'll be searching that. This is going to be a good video, I'm going to be going like, I don't know what this is worth, but I bought it. Hmm. But it was a pound, but there's got to be money in there. The cards could be worth about a tenner, and maybe this is like 15, with a big bundle of cards and stuff. That's what I was thinking, just sell the whole thing, go through it, make sure there's no really good ones, and then just bundle it. Ooh, I got these. They're just nice little carry cases from the Nintendo 3DS, because I've got a 3DS that I do like. 
So I thought I'll have it and I just found this one for what, a tenner online sold. So that, yeah, they were I got the two for a pound I think. This is the thing, the way we sell stuff is that we buy it with the intention of maybe having it for ourselves. Yeah. And then if it's not perfect we'll just like sell it off. Yeah. Just because like yeah, like we'll buy it because we'll be like, well, if this isn't worth money, at least I can use it. Yeah. Like, this is really nice to be fair because I've got a case, but it's massive. And the, this, I'll probably keep that one, I think. And maybe sell that one because that one's worth a tenner. So that's right, yeah, I got them two for a pound. Like, it's worth it, isn't it? That's a nice little, a nice little thing that I wouldn't be paying a tenner for myself. Yeah, but if you got the chance to have it, but even if you just use it for a month or so and then you've mm -hmm. had use out of it. That's it for 50p, though. Oh, I've got myself. Oh, a bit, oh, no. bit damaged. Okay. But I got myself a little uh, uh, vinyl. What's it called? Christmas fiber. It's got Jimmy Cricket and all that. We've seen this in a charity shop in Salvage once or twice, but they've got it quite expensive. So, yeah. It's actually sung in the voices, like. Yeah. So, we've got one song by Jimmy Cricket and Mickey Mouse, another one by Ludwig Mausensky and all the Mouse Choir. Jimmy Cricket again. Yeah, amazing, amazing. Who else we got? That's it was it, two it? quid. I didn't have gold because I thought, you know what, it's probably worth two quid. Yeah, it probably sells, doesn't it? Mm. That is quite cool. Thank you. I got myself a little Vax little window thing. Look at the window thing. It might just fit this way. Yeah, because our windows are like, you probably just saw them, they're like panes, little panes. I thought so. we could use this for the tiles and the bathroom anyway. Yeah, and the kitchen. Yeah. Nice. No. How much was it? Three quid? Three quid, you wanted four quid. I was like, would you take two? She was like, three fifty. I was like, three quid. She was like, yeah. Happy for three what, what, quid. Did you find out what they sell for, second hand? Uh, no. They were about 80 quid new, but like, that's got no real bearing on. And then I think they were selling on eBay for 30 quid new. Yeah. No, I'm about 15. But it works. Yeah, it's fine, isn't it? And it comes with the charger as well, so that's all good. Like, you might get a tenner or something, you? Yeah, 10, 15 I'm quid. I'm going to use it. I'm going to sell it. Mm-hmm. Got this first Jurassic Park, the Ultimate Trilogy on DVD, just because it was 50p. <laughs> you can't really say no, 50p, can you? I she only wanted 50p. I know, she didn't seem like she cared. It didn't, she didn't seem like it was her stuff. Yeah. She was just like, oh, 50p. Do you think she broke up with a feather? Do you reckon? So, no, I, re I reckon that someone went for a piddle and then she was just like trying to just make sales. <laughs> but yeah, 50p, three DVDs, that's nice. I got this for my friend because she's having a little baby, she was having a girl, and then um, she wants to collect all of these. Together. So she's uh, she's asked me to be on the lookout for them. So I picked her up this. This was like one pound fifty. We bought we bought like uh, ten or twelve of these about three or four years ago because it was before we were vlogging. Uh, what did we buy them for? I think we made paid like four or five pound each, and then we sold them at like ten or twelve pound each. Yeah, took ages. Wasn't nice. It wasn't worth it. it wasn't Back then we thought it was like a crazy deal. We thought yeah, we're gonna be millionaires doing stuff like this. And they took about a year before they all sold, to be honest. Okay, I bought... I forgot I bought that. That's the thing, mate. You forget all the stuff you bought, man. I got Doom for the PS4 for me. £3. That's not bad for PS4 game, is it? Especially not Doom. And I got GTA 4 for me. Uh, PS3. I think I probably paid a pound for that. That's nice. I'm making a collection of um, GTA games. I'm also trying to make a collection of... I will. I'm going to buy... <laughs> Either way, I just want to have these as collections, GTA and Call of Duty, but the problem is, yeah, I've got a collection for Xbox and PlayStation, and I can't remember, like, I don't want to have a full collection on both, to be honest, I just want one collection on one console, PlayStation preferably, and I can't remember which ones I've got, so I might already have that, but right. if I've got it already, right. I'll make another collection and then I'll sell that collection, alright, I'm sorry. So we've got, these two things were like, a pound each. And they, they, like, they just seem like the kind of things that might be worth money. This is called a PC Mover Ultimate. I'm going to search this in a sec, just while, while you guys are here so I can tell you. Lapling is the only software that moves programs, files and settings to your new PC. Well, this is already missing pieces. I don't get what is it? Oh, that's good, isn't it? I don't get why this is any better than a USB. Yeah. None sold. Uh, one listed at about 25 quid with loads of postage because it's from a different country so I might just put it up at like 15 quid and see because the thing is there's someone out there who's got an old laptop that can only run up to whatever they said this was up to like Windows 7 Windows 7 that's not that old is it what are we on at the minute Windows 10 Windows 10 was there an 8 and a 9 
think so. So it's not that old. Copyright 2010. Someone will have it. Someone will want that for a tenner or 15 quid. I got this as well for a pound off them. Lord of the Rings TV DVD game. It comes with like uh, some dice and stuff. It's the big money this is. Sells for about £2.50, so that's good. One of them sells for about eight quid, so we might list it high and see what happens, because it's all there. It's not in like bad nick. It's all right. This was near the start of the day, and you know what? I remember just before we bought these, I was thinking, we're going to make some silly boys today because we just want <clears throat> we want some stuff because we didn't go to the boot sale the week before because it wasn't on because of the rain. But that's all right. You know what? You win some, you lose some. At the last boot sale, I bought two of these pound each. I bought another one pound each, and now I've got three. This one's a bit dirty, but what are you going to use them for? Uh, storing craft stuff in. Okay. Craft supplies. Nice. Yeah, I'm hoping that they stack on top of each other. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure, you know, like here, these are £5 each, so saving myself some money. Money. I got myself a little serving dish. It is uh, Kernywick? Kernywick? Cornwall? Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to use it to mix painting, to be honest. It's like a palette, isn't it? It is like a palette. Or be like dippy dip, dippy dips. Dippy dips. So Stacey got this as well. How much you pay for this pound? Pound. It's a Beanie Baby like bag. It says Beanie Babies on the side and stuff. And it's got like the TY thing on the back. It's got a certificate. And it's got a little dude. Um, and he's got a little coin and stuff, so. Oh, some got, of these, it depends which one it is, is worth a lot of money. Official Club Platinum Edition card. So there this you go. Is, I don't know what that is. Oh, it's Club Legs. I think it might be like a little frog. We search it real quick. This is this is Clubby Two, date of birth March the 9th, nineteen ninety nine. The proper like a uh, members thing in it. This was probably the one that came free if you joined the club. So he's not really worth much. A few quid, three quid or something. I mean, as a bundle with this, it might be probably worth a little bit more. But yeah, I think his name's Clubby Two, so he's probably the guy that came. Yeah, when you when you joined the club, the cool kid club. But you, when you see things like that, you can't really say no to boots after a pound, yeah? you got to so get cute. it. It's cute. It's in really good condition. Yeah, someone will have that for 10 or 15 quid. And that's money. At the second boot sale of the day, I saw this nearly straight away and I had just a quick Google and it came up good. This goes for about 35 quid. I think there was only one sold, but it went for about 35 quid. And that's got a little bit of damage on the back, a little break, but it doesn't really matter because I only paid three quid for it. So this is uh, Catherine Cookson. She does books, but this is a DVD set. Let me just try and remember how it opens. So you see, 23 DVDs. Hopefully they're all in their cases. Okay. And they're all in good condition, hopefully. I mean, to be honest, someone's probably had this and never even watched any of them. Yeah, it's probably one of those things you get from the works, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it looks perfect. Right, so yeah, about 30, 35 quid. I'll probably list 35 quid something like that. She was the person who sold this. It, oh, you put it upside down. Did I? Yeah. Mm -hmm. she, the person who sold this, it wasn't hers, it was whoever she was selling with. And she was like, oh, she's just popped to the loo. I don't know what she wants for that. And 23 quid, the the friend. As in the person I was talking to. She, she said, oh, well, I'll do it for three quid. And I was like, well, would you take two? And she was like, no, I'd have to wait till she gets back. And I didn't want to wait in case she wanted like a tenner for it or something. So I just had it for three quid and we did a runner. I thought I still made money. Yeah, someone's probably like, no, oh, I've had that for years, I wanted 30 quid. <laughs> okay, next up. Oh. It's a PlayStation 2. I was said to say yesterday, I've got a feeling that I was going to get some gaming stuff today, and I bloody did. First up, I had, yes, boxed PlayStation 2. This is the fat PS2, it's called, because as you guessed, it's not slim. And it was a fiver for this. It was, I asked how much it was, and the kid was like a tenner, and then the mum was like, oh, no, it's not. And I thought, here we go, she's going to want like 20 quid. And she said it's a fiver. I was like, well, all right then, I think I'll have that. And it comes with a load of controllers. Oh, they're not legit. A couple of non-legit ones. Two there, black and non-legit ones. But these ones are legit. I'm pretty sure they're PS1, which is a bit weird. Two PS1 controllers. Oh, that's good. I think they work though. So. Is this a PS1? No, it's a PS2. Chunky PS2, chunky monkey PS2. I have to see if there's a game in it. It's like a, it's like a roulette in it. Seeing if there's a game in there. Comes with all the cables, all the wires, 
Why is there, why is there multiple plugs? I don't think they just chucked anything in here. It's an RF adapter. I didn't even think. Those are like really old tellies. What? It's a Sony one as well. Yeah, I don't even know you could play PlayStations on RF. I probably sound like an idiot, I don't even know what they are. So that was good, that's a five out. I'm pretty sure that'll sell. I had a quick search, I'm not 100% I was looking at the right thing. I think it was that it's about 45 to 50 quid. So that'll be good. I'm just gonna have to test all these in a bit. Next up, we got just literally probably in the same aisle of the next one over here. Yeah, that sure that so someone had a slim PS2, which is nice. <laughs> Nothing in this Ooh. one. How tiddly that is compared, you man. Keep them. You think? Yeah. Maybe. Don't say that. I don't I don't need much convincing. <laughs> so, so she had that. And she had this. <laughs> Oh, help if you can see it. It's a steering wheel with pedals and stuff. It's a Logic 3 one. Logic 3 Force. Yeah, it comes with pedals, the steering wheel. And they had. Oh, can you hold it? Is anything broke? I think everything's okay. Oh, my picture. We'll check it all shortly. <laughs> she also had all these games. With it, so the reason that I, it caught my eye was because uh, this, because on, we're on like a Facebook group for reselling, and somebody posted something, and I thought it was this the other day, saying it was worth like 30, 35 quid. It's Dragon Ball Z, Budokai Ooh. Tenkaichi. I don't know what that. It's like a Tekken sort of game, that kind of Street Fighter sort of thing, but it's the third one that's worth the money. This one isn't really worth anything. Anyway, I paid 12 quid for all of that, which I don't think is too bad. You got a giant bond. Mm -hmm. Need for Speed. Yeah, play that with the little Need wheel. Need for Speed. And a into the matrix it's not bad is it so now we've got oh, enough yeah. games that i don't want that i can make bundles with and stuff so we bundle these bad boys up so i think the slim playstation 2 i think that sells for about 20 to 25 quid the wheel i think is 20 to 25 quid i think so yeah wow. I've, I've literally just like had a couple of minutes to google these just before we recorded so i haven't you know i'm not set on prices yet but that i think is what that's worth and then we've got a shirt haven't we? oh, like yeah. you did i bought Jeremy's you did, but I did. shirt Ralph Lauren. Very nice. Nice medium. I'm not going to fit in that. You might. I ain't. You're going to be having it? No, you'll fit in it. <laughs> you will. Well, I always want to fit in it. You will. Won't. You try that on. You what? try that on. Right. And then right. I got this, guys. This is my, uh, I don't know what to call it, but the, my find of the day. I wanted one of these. I've been telling you guys. Ah! I was going to find one of these for a couple of days, a couple of weeks, sorry. I've been looking on Marketplace, I've been looking on eBay trying to find one, and I found it. So it's a PS3, yeah, it's not only a PS3, it's a fat PS3, and it's the 60 gig PS3 with the four USBs on it, and if you know anything about PS3s, that means it's backwards compatible. So this one can play PS1 and PS2 games, all, or majority of the other PS3s can't. So I wanted this for my collection so that I can always just have this set up and play any, P any PlayStation game, obviously from the three and before without having to mess around. So this is good. Now the guy who was selling this, he had a couple and he knew what they were, but the thing is these are worth like 80 quid online. This one's not in great condition, it's a bit scratched and stuff, so this would probably only get like 60. And it didn't have wires, so yeah, probably 60. But he only wanted 25 quid for it with a controller, which are also worth semi-decent money, like a tenner maybe. And uh, I mean, I was saying to him like, how it kind of seemed a little bit dodgy that He's selling it for 25 quid when they're worth a lot of money. He knows it's worth money. I know it's worth money. Why are you only selling them for 25 quid sort of thing? But he's basically saying he, he's there a lot at the boot sales. He sells a lot. He had a lot of gaming stuff. He says he buys them in job lots and then just sells them. He said he's tested it just by plugging it in. He hasn't actually put it on the telly. And he said it worked. And I said to him, I said, if I buy it, it doesn't work. I'm bringing it back. Um, and he wasn't bothered. like So I do believe that he believes it works. So I mean, I'll give it a test in a bit. 25 quid. And actually... Faulty, I can still sell that for 25 or 30 quid. So, I mean, it's not like a risk, it's just an investment, I suppose. And if it works, it's eight. So, yeah, I'm happy. I, just, I don't know if I can polish this up, but it's plastic. And if this was at work, like I could polish a, I could polish plastic on a car, so I might be able to polish it. I might just pick some polishing in a bit and have a go. Anyway, I'm very, very happy with that. It didn't, yeah, like I said, it didn't come with wires, but I think you can use PS2 wires with it, so I'll give it a plug in in a bit and see what happens. And is that it? Oh, you got your little thing. I got a little uh, wire rack for the, uh, what's it called? Radiator. Radiator, so I can hang some more stuff on if it just needs, like, 
Bit of drying. Because if you've been watching the vlog, we were having issues with drying. Actually, I'm not sure if I've told you guys about it. But basically, on the evenings, been having just racks of washing and just all the radiator is covered in radiator covered things with washing on. Trying to dry things, trying to figure yeah. out what the best way is going to be for us to dry our clothes. I think going forward, as long as it's not raining, we're going to hang them out and then we'll finish off drying them here so it's not completely putting wet stuff in the house to dry. Yeah, to dampen it. I mean, that's probably why we've got water all up the bloody windows. Well, I get it in my room at home, so. Uh, yeah, and they are only single glass. Anyway, on with the Why show, not? you got. Oh, go on. And the... Oh, hold on the bag. Bloody hell. There's only one thing in it. We've had this before. I mean, like. We've still got it because you haven't. It's I think really I've awkward it. to sell. Have you listed it? Mm -mm. <laughs> I've gone through it and it's all there. I just. So it's this muck flurry maker and it comes with these sachets basically. The other one we've got comes with the sachets and I've been deliberating whether. Does that work? Yeah, it is well done. <laughs> whether to sell it with the sachets because I went out of that in 2002 and I was like, is that safe? But then it's complete if I sell it like that. Some people have sold it like that. I don't know. It's fine. Because people are just going to want it for the collection. I don't think anyone's actually going to make it. Anyway, do, she it said it was brand new, never used. Don't believe that. That's what everyone says. Definitely all there, definitely never used. Definitely 50 quid now. I think it's got these sachets as well. Yeah, it's got sachets. And cool. they're sealed. So that's good. So it actually probably hasn't been used. 2003. That's got sprinkles. Mad. Oh, I know, but you can't. Do you reckon it'll be really ill? Really ill. So I think that is. It's probably about 20. Yeah. Mm. I want to make one. Should we make one on the video? No. Should we? No. And just see what happens. No. And we just taste it. We don't have to eat the whole thing. No. Yeah, let me know in the comments if you think we should make no. one. Just to see what it's no, like. I'm not open sealed things that have been sealed. Not that one, then the one that's open. No. I'm making one. No. I am, I'm making one. Okay, guys, we go. Why is, why is, was it red at the top? I don't know. It was red because it was about to stop recording. Um, yes, on with today. We're going to go places. <laughs> guys, we set out to have a really adventurous today, today. Today, today, day, today. So we went around the little village that we've just moved to to have a look around. Okay, but it's Sunday and absolutely everything is closed. Like, like everything. We were going to have lunch there. Everything's closed. We're going to look around a couple of cherry shops. All of them were closed. So that kind of scuppered our plans. And then we thought we'd go out to Kimba, which is another lovely village just down the road from us. Stopped off at a pub on the way. Checked the prices out online. Really expensive. So we're like, okay, we're not going there. Um, ood and odd about what we're doing, and I would tell you, we just gotta get some Aldi food and pop home and have some tea, some lunch, sorry. So just let's just go Aldi shopping, that's just it's just as fun, isn't it? Just as fun as a day out. This is confusing, Jamie. Well, no, it's the same, but it's different, isn't it? Oh, oh, I don't like it. Oh, it's so busy. It is, so busy. Unbelievable, is it? Oh, do we need to do our reg here? Is it one of these? No, I don't think it is. I think we're okay. Uh, don't think they've got the one we have. Get two? 25 fish? Yeah. Got okay. an orange as well. Okay. A couple of them as well. 40p a bottle, it really can't run, can you, at 40p a bottle? Nah, stock up, so we don't have to keep going to the shop. Yeah, and then accidentally having to go and buy a bottle from like Coop and buy like two quid or something. Exactly. That is mad, isn't it? Two quid for a bottle from a big shop. You could get five Aldi ones. Aldi sponsor us, please. Have <laughs> 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 an issue. Do you not think we'll need more? Well, I don't know. For they're the not week? Let me know you think. What's the, the date on there? 6 is 90p, 12 is 155. 3rd of September. Oh, to be fair, 3rd of September. Oh, it's cracked. Mm -hmm. Might as well get a big pack. 26th of August. That's 3rd of September. We'll definitely use these. Yeah, what's the date today? We've got 16 days to eat these. To be fair, that's pretty easy. When we eat a meal, we'll eat six. We took the other one out. Yeah. We're we going for this one? I think so, yeah, unless you want to. Do you want medium or? 
I don't know, I don't know, okay. Or toasty. Yeah, toasty, maybe nice and thick. A bit thick, yeah. yeah. It's a few hours later, guys. We had that lunch. I made sausage and egg sandwiches. Fire, 10 out of 10. <laughs> Apart from the fact I forgot to get brown sauce because we thought we had it, but I must have left it wherever. And uh, I ended up having barbecue because the red sauce had gone a bit faff as well. Faff. It had, it had gone faff, hadn't I it? Is it. there a better word? Heat, yeah, because it had been out on the wedding when it was like 30 odd degrees. Don't know if that had affected it, so it had gone weird. Um, so I had a barbecue sauce, sausage, and egg sandwich, which was a bit odd. Was it nice? It was okay, you know, yeah, it was weird. Oh, oh my, my God. goodness, so annoying. Uh. Um, <clears throat> but we've gone home, had a shower each, and done some things. <laughs> and we're back now at the flat, and we're just about to have a bit of tea. And I've found a cable for testing that PlayStation. The PlayStation 3, the one I'm going to keep. So I'm going to test that, and I've got some games for it. So we might have a little little game evening. What are you saying? No. But you want to play? Wall. You want to play Disney? Wall. I'm not near the wall. You are. You are. I'm not near the wall. No, you're not going to mind that. You're not going to mind that. Oh my god, you mind that. You're Thank fine. you. Am I fine? Funny oh, that. Funny well. that. Yeah, we've got that Disney quiz thing. Oh, epic! Can we play yeah, that? Yeah, we can play that. Yeah. Woo! Play yeah, with a guitar play hero. You call the no, you don't play Call of Duty, we can play Guitar Hero, Disney Quiz, what do you think? I don't want to play this. Um, oh, no, you don't want to play Disney no, Quiz, that's a shame, not... man. Ah. What you do? What you do? Hit, hit, hit. Alright, moment of truth, guys. Got to test it. So, like I said, he says that it does turn on. They said that was as much as he tested it. Okay, we've got a light. Comes on. Nothing in there. Okay, let's try it with an HD cable. And see if it reads things. We might have a good one. Okay, we're plugged in. HD cables in. Let's get a game. Come on, let's see some action. Okay, I've got a black screen at the minute. I don't know what that means. If it's supposed to be or not, I don't know. Oh my gosh, we have lift off. We have lift off. But the thing is, yeah. Oh god. Okay, okay, okay. I'm having to control it with the guitar because I need the cable, I think. To, I've only got Bluetooth controllers, and you need a receiver, but you know what, that, I bet that Guitar Hero receiver will work for other controllers. So, that could work. But all my controllers need charging, I think. Oh, mate, this is amazing. This is great. Should, well, hopefully, you know, as long as it's working, eh? Is it reading the disc? I think, did I even, did I put, I did put the disc in. Okay, let's try again. Good news and bad news. So, comes on and it works, but it doesn't work because it doesn't read discs, <laughs> which is grand. I mean, it's not a massive loss because I can sell it for what I paid, well, probably for more than what I paid for it, for uh, spares and repairs. And also, I can try and fix it myself. I think that it's going to need a new lens from a quick, like, Google search as to what's, like, what's going wrong with it, like. So, I just need to have a look at how easy that is to do, or... Uh, how much it'll cost to have done so yeah Potentially fine potentially not. I don't know anyway. We're ordering tea because I'm bloody hungry and a little bit annoyed, but it's cool It's cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah We did we're having it too much to us, but we're back on the diet tomorrow and we've got to really get strict with our money But yeah, I don't think this is the last one this month yeah, Probably Sorry. yeah, but the thing is like we're making a few eBay sales here and there so we've just been like yeah, we'll just just treat ourselves like it's too. It's too. Stacey had a bit of a stressful little afternoon as well, didn't you? Yeah. She had some. Uh, she, she was knackered. She went and had a kit, but then she got sleep paralysis for the first time in its weeks. We were only talking about it a few weeks ago because I've had it a few times. And uh, Stacey was like, oh, "I hope I never get it." I think you got it today. Yeah. That's Creepy, isn't it? You were playing your game, and I was just like trying to start shouting. Yeah, because she'd gone to. The, at first, she fell asleep on the sofa, then she went to bed, <laughs> and. Uh, like, if you've never had it, it's so weird. You just literally just paralysed. Like, you can sort of open your eyes and that. And uh, it's like, it's like being in quicksand or something. You're just like sluggish and can't move. It's like, if you watch, you know the Wolf Wall Street. When he, oh, when he, yeah. oh, it's that, in it? God. When he falls down the stairs and that and he's trying to get to his car and your body's just like this. And you're trying to talk and you're literally just going. Like that. You can't get your words. It's out. horrible. But, uh, yeah, I could just hear it. Just going, <laughs> I thought you were having a nightmare or something at first. Aww. And I went in and just got like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make like any sense at all. Not really. And then I was like, I moved you. And then suddenly you could just move. 
It's a bit weird, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Listen, can we, let's see, yeah. sorry guys, sorry guys, pretty in. We got, oh man, we added these on today as well, the Cine Dippers, man. I remember having these in Florida for the first time, literally about 10 oh. years ago when I went with my parents. Oh, I thought you were going to sell the ones in there. Nah, when I, I, I had it um, when I went with my parents yeah. when I was about 10, yeah. And they finally do them over here. Oh, it's the yeah. dip, man, it's like a vanilla icing dip. 